They said it couldn't be done. 20 teenagers, one giant mansion, and an organization nightmare. Welcome to the frickin' You know what the frick's up. Hey, we'll do one photo real quick. Oh, what have you done? Okay, so, <laughs> this is day one at the mansion, and I'm already sick of everyone. This is sick. <laughs> so, we got to the mansion, and it was just dead. Everyone's on their phones, no one was doing stuff. We were listening to Jacob's stupid music. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's alright. <laughs> Put some good music on, Jacob. Oh my gosh. Caleb's being such a dick in Connect Four. He's not letting anyone beat him. Like, come on, bro, just be nice. Connect Four. Hey, no. And Holly was just sitting on the couch. Hi guys, I'm, I'm Holly. Um, we're here at the um, mansion house thing. It's really not a mansion, it's not that big. Um, and I have just some things that I want to say. Um, I don't know how this night's going to go. There are a few people in here that kind of get on my nerves and I don't know how it's going to um, work. You know, I get pretty angry pretty easily, but we're going <laughs> to just, you know, relax and have a good time. Okay, so we've been here for like three hours now. Um, I'm already starting to lose my mind. Um, as you can see, I've started to rip my hair out. It's it's hard. It's hard. It's all, it's all I can say. These guys, worst bunch I've ever been with. I'm. I'm, I'm not handling it. Can you hear the fights out there? Yes, that's why we locked ourselves in there. We're just going to ration food at this stage. It's getting a bit bonkers. We have pineapple, pineapple lump, we have coffee beans, we have butter lovers flavour. It's going to be a rough night. That's all I can say. Hide the kitchen knives is all I'm trying to say. You know, this is just, it's going to be hard. I think that life is just chain reactions. So however I feel doesn't matter because I don't I don't make my own decisions. <laughs> because the decisions I make are influenced by how I've grown up. So So if I do anything wrong to you, that's not my fault. <laughs> Follow me. So, excuse me there, sir. Hi, I'm Trinity. And I'm Georgia. And we're sisters. Um, so, we don't actually want to be here right now. Hi, welcome. Hi. Today we will be interviewing you. What's your name? I'm Carter Harrison. Wow. So, how are you finding this? You know, I, I, think, there will, I, I think there will be some beef. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like if there were beef, it'd be between Eden and Caleb. Wow, that's some tea. I think that's some good tea. Yeah. So how are you finding this experience so far? Do you have a, a piercing on the inside of your lip? I do, because I'm edgy. She did it herself, right? Yeah. And she said that when she was doing it, she like stabbed herself. No, he's... <laughs> I don't actually know how to do this, I just see it in the movies. That should be done. I don't actually know! <laughs> this is content right here. Only thing 
left is the stuff that you do on this world, okay? And the stuff that you experience, okay? <laughs> At day 421 of these losers, and I'm sick of it. I can't cope with them. What? Oh my god. If you could vote off one person from the cast, take it, Paris. Who's even here? Caleb. Caleb. <laughs> Start some drama. Ooh. Caleb, you're coming for you. <laughs> 11 at home. 11 at home. Again. Uh, you know it's been good, you know, I've been grinding the Connect 4, it's been very exciting, you know. Been losing. I feel like something's something's about to happen, you know. Mm, it's all something's starting, growing. Something that's building up, you know. Exactly, something's growing there. Mm. Okay, let's get a friend here. No, we haven't finished our question. <laughs> well, then, um, Give us a Can week. you <laughs> take us to the dairy? <laughs> what happened? Caleb, can you take us to the dairy? Dairy recording. Can I take you to the yes, dairy? Yes, sir, you have to answer. <laughs> no. Do you Did Carter and Holly just leave by themselves again? Ooh. I reckon there's going to be a couple formed out of this. Oh, who? What about any romantic endeavours between anyone? Do you think anything's going to happen between anyone? Paris and Georgia. Clearly. Paris and Georgia. <laughs> Carter. 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 Puts tomato sauce in my coffee. You put it in your and coffee. And it was so mean. <laughs> you put it in your coffee. No, he did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it actually, she, oh, he wanted someone to try his sauce. And he didn't even blow on it. <laughs> How rude. How rude. <laughs> she put it straight in her mouth. It straight in my and mouth. And then spit it into her coffee. And it was blue hot. <laughs> Emily has been doing the puzzles. <laughs> On her body It's not the side of the house that brings you joy. <laughs> it's the size of your open mind of the house. If you have an open mind, the bigger the place doesn't mean the more adventures. The smaller the place means the more adventures. Because you've got a bigger open mind. You see, okay, this is to you, I think. In a small house, you're looking at every single cook and cranny. Does that make sense? <laughs> like, like, crook? Crook. like, like, you're looking at every single corner for a new, for a new hiding spot or a new like adventure or like to get in the house thing. But in a big house. There, you just, you just don't, you know, you, you see the surface level of the house, but you don't see the in-depth level of the house. ACBC out. Um, why did I say ACB out? Liray, bye. Yeah. Is this Ooh, stop. No one at this house is taking me seriously, but I, I'm convinced. And, um... And yeah, so I was like fully convinced that there was gonna be this murder. And we're at the new house. Um, it doesn't seem like there's gonna be like, as like the murder won't be like as obvious. But like, I'm still convinced that there's gonna be a murder. Georgia, Georgia, film the fight. Georgia, film the fight. There's a fight going on. Sorry, this is important. I can't, I can't handle it. I can't. I'm about to lose my mind. Get into the boat immediately. Okay, so all the guys were like, let's go for a drive. It'll be fun. It'll be awesome. And it just brings back memories from this dreadful time. And one of the people in there was driving in a car with me. He said it was my fault. Fucking bull. <laughs> I don't even need him anymore. Who needs Toby? I was driving and he said, he said, pull the handbrake. And I pulled the handbrake and I smashed into another car and it just brought back memories. And I just didn't want that to happen. And when he said that, I'm, Francis Polloy, you're being called out. It was, it was, uh, I was furious. I rushed down here in tears. I've just had to wipe my face and just get back on with life. I am just, 
Ah, furious. I... I'm glad I'm in this boat, because if I wasn't in this boat, these hands round his neck. He <laughs> needs to die. If there's a murder tonight, I know who... It was something you wouldn't normally do. Like, yeah, it opened up my eyes to many things. <laughs> yeah, it just made me realize that like I couldn't live with these people. <laughs> I don't know, like you can't possibly. Like I feel like the funnest of things were when we were doing the smallest of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when we were trying to force, so like when we were trying to like, we're trying like to oh, let's go on an adventure, it's just, it's, it's not going to happen. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. I mean, I definitely admit you have to make an effort, but, but not like for sex. Yeah. you got to go with the flow and meet the skill line. you got to follow fate's line. Follow fate's line. Follow God's line. Amen. Of your life. Of your life. <laughs> um. Thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this one, a special thank you to Toby for helping me film and put together this one, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.